Do you want to know how to change the size of your images in RemPy? Keep on watching and I'll show you the easy way. And make sure to watch this video to the end, because there's a secret bonus level at the end. Don't miss that one. To make sure that you have crisp images in RemPy, it's a good idea to have your source images bigger than the actual size that you'll display in the game. My game is the standard size 1280 x 720, so the height of my game screen is 720 pixels. The image you're seeing right now is really big. It's 2048 pixels times 2048 pixels. And that's really good to keep the image crisp, but it looks a bit silly. Luckily, it's really easy to scale it down and resize it. Let's head over to my script and see what we have to change. The first thing we'll see is that I'm currently using the simplest but less controlled way to display an image. I'm simply using the show statement. It's good practice to define your displayables as images displayables. So that's the first thing we'll do. So we'll comment out the show statement with a hashtag sign and then we'll scroll up and define the image using the image command. So let's type image Anna colon and then on a new line Anna.png and don't forget the quotation marks. We'll change our show statement to show Anna with a capital A, just like the image that we defined. Let's check out if it made any difference. Nope, the image is still too big, but now we have more control over it and we can change its size easily. Let's go back to the script. In our image definition, just below the image path, we'll just add the zoom parameter, followed by a number. Let's try 0.5 and see how it looks. The image looks much better, but it's still too big. Let's return to our script and try another number. Spoiler alert! When I prepared this video, I found 0.35 to be the correct number for my image. But you'll have to experiment with yours, of course. That's it! Now our image looks the way I wanted it to. And you can clearly see the character. That's a plus, I guess. <laughs> now it's time for the bonus level. Back in our script, we can easily change the position of our character using transforms. Just add at and the position at the end of your show statement. For example, at left or at right or at center. Cool, huh? As always, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like button to help this video spread on YouTube. Take care. Bye bye.